Hi, my name is Craig and welcome to Lion the Films tutorial for um, creating lightsabers with just Final Cut Pro. No other plugins, no other programs, just simply Final Cut Pro. Okay, um, we'll start very quickly. I've never done a tutorial before, so please bear with me. Um, as you can see, my timeline and my frame rate is part way through my film. So I'm actually going to drag my clip into position from the uh, bin. And we're just going to drop that into the timeline. Okay, just going to adjust some things here so we can see it better. Then double click where we can see our performance. And let's just run the clip very quickly. Take the audio off so don't want to scare anyone off. Okay, we can see a really, really, really simple lightsaber battle there um, with uh, wooden poles that are with metal handles which actually only cost us about two pounds um, so first of all we've got the clip selected and we now need to select a colour for our lightsaber well the guy with the dreadlocks um, I think we're actually going to use a, a red lightsaber so first of all we're going to get a flat colour uh, red so if we go to this option here on your uh, browser screen we look at um, matte color I'm actually using Final Cut Pro 6 you can use um, any Final Cut I believe you can do this on Express so you go to controls and up comes your palette and um, you'll see in front of you some colors um, I've already done a red light saver so I'm just gonna uh, use the palette option for red and then I'm gonna go back to my video there you can see my big red screen there okay now I want to drag and drop this on top of your entire footage this will then, um, I'm just going to chop it down. This will then cover up your entire screen. So where there's action before, you actually can't see anything. So we need to double click that to make sure it appears in the browser. And we go to motion and we go to opacity. And we'll drop the opacity down to probably about 40 so we can see what's actually happening. Uh, we then go back to our clip. Um, and we look for the first frame where the lightsaber appears. Okay, so the first frame is this frame. Okay, just double check that. And the first frame is that frame, okay? So now we drag a colour just over the section there. So this is where the colour started. Now, I want you to go to effects, grab your four point garbage mat and drag that into your editing section. Go to filters, you'll now see point one, two, three, and four. Now what we're doing is now is we're motion framing. So we need to arm the motion frame from the very first action. If we don't do this, we do a lot of work and it ends up for nothing. And um, we go to point one, and this will be in the top corner here. On your left, drag this down to uh, the top of the lightsaber, which we can just see just there. Point four, usually I get mixed up and do point two down here, but that's actually point four. And we click that one there. Point three about there I'd say sorry point three needs to be a bit lower that's my fault and there and point two so be about there because it's coming up so fast it is actually going to be a little bit blurry so let's just have a look at that and readjust that so four three And two probably just comes in a little bit. Okay, right. You just see the waff there. All right, okay. So that's our first frame, right? So we're going to click a cursor key to the right. And you see how fast that moves, okay? Now keep an eye on all your points. This The lightsaber's moved there. You've motion framed your key in here. So we're going to go back to one. And move one to the other side of the lightsaber there. Two, there, uh, three, you can just see the handle there, so that with that, and probably move two in just a little bit more, and one up a little bit more, okay, right, so, and again for the next frame, I never said this was going to be easy guys, okay, one, two, 
three. Move it up a little bit again. Right, I'm just going to stop this now because this is, well, I'll do two more. It's the next frame, so two's almost off the screen. Three to the point of the handle. And four. Okay. Hope you follow in. Any comments or any help needed, just email me on the, uh, uh, just drop us a comment on the YouTube. I'll be happy to help with anyone. Uh, next frame and down again to right as you can imagine this is frame by frame so this is like 24 frames a second so what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to stop the tape and fast forward to a big section that I've done. Just to let you know, this has currently took me 40, 45 minutes from when we last spoke. Uh, I'll just show you the uh, what we've been doing in the meantime. If we go through the uh, the timeline, and you can see that I've motion framed every single frame um, with the red lightsaber. Uh, I've not done the other one yet. I don't want to move too fast for you. Uh, some sections where there's a cut between um, the hair. You just start again and do uh, exactly the same method just the other side of the lightsaber. Okay, now if we come down to this part here, this is our lightsaber. We're just going to move the first two, the, the two segments that are cut off, which were between uh, between my hair and uh, the other side of the lightsaber. I'm just going to move them up three. Okay, now these two, um, highlight, right click, copy. And we're going to paste them here. Okay. I'm going to copy and move them back over exactly the same time on top. Now I'm going to paste again. So you've now got three lots. Okay. Bring these down. I don't need to go up three, I need to go up two. And we'll do the same to them. Okay. So copy, paste, move on top. And they have to be exactly on top. Okay. All right, this is where the magic happens. And you can actually double click on your colour at any time you wish to change the colour of the lightsaber. Um, but we're happy with red at the moment. Right, so we're going to double click the first one. And you can see this in our preview screen, which is just the colour itself. We need to go to motion. We need to turn the opacity back up. Okay. Now if we double click on all these, it'll go straight to the opacity option because that's what it was previously in our preview screen. Okay. We can do all these very, very quickly. And just three more. Okay, right now. Back to the first one. Now we need to go to filters. And we go to feather. And pass, we've got feather, choke and smooth. This is like the blurring around the saber. And you'll see why we've got three in just a second. So the first one, the bottom one, we need to go minus 29. Okay. The second one, we go to feather plus 29. And then this one, the top one, we need to go to feather about four. Okay. Now while we're on this top one, this top one here, we double click and we go to colours, control, sorry, and colour, and then we go to white. That's because the lightsaber emits white. It's uh, white and red. Okay. And then we do the same again for these. Okay, and that's um, all 12 pieces done. Um, Again, if there is anything unclear about the tutorial, please let me know, uh, comment me, ask me, this is my first tutorial, I will help you as much as I can. Um, right, so we've clicked um, Command and R, or Alt and R on whichever unit you're using, and to render the item, so you can see that's just going to be done in a few seconds. And then we will have a look at what we have. Okay, and... Uh,
this is the let's see what we have okay let's see that again okay and there you have it a lightsaber